see me look warm to you, babe. And the sky may look blue. Go skating on a thin ice of modern life, dragging behind you the silent reproach of a million tear stained eyes. Don't be surprised. No, sorry, don't be surprised with a crack in. Depth and out of your mind, and you're fear flowing out behind you as you claw the thin ice. <laughs>these shootings and stuff like that so like I think that in my my opinion is I try to we all we're all trying to figure it out you know I think what I've come up with just for what it's worth is uh, I don't like the morality policing and the control type thing you know that you have to ask the right question at the right time the question right now is how do we punish these people the question right now, as far as like future events uh, the question isn't like punishing and a question of morality please it's a question of inclusion it's a question of making more people feel like they're part of this world you know um you know the only let's face it the only reason like when i was i was depressed as a teenager and i i've i've had you know like all the blah blah blahs with depression the cutting and the and the suicidal this and trying to commit suicide that and all you know all that the, the you know i've been on prozac and just anything you could think of you know i've gone through all that stuff um of course everybody knows that it's no secret <laughs> you know and um it's, it's about it is a battle of self-worth a lot of mental illness is a battle of self-worth you know Therefore, that's why the morality policing thinking doesn't work, you know, it's, that's not how we're going to fix these problems. It's so these people, they're oftentimes young. When you're young, like, so like, that's the may, maybe the part of the contribution that I can give as a trans woman, because I've had male hormones and female hormones. And the big difference, and you can listen to the scientists talk about it if you uh, research the subject, 
uh, in the male sex drive with all the testosterone it's more like pushy and the female is more you know two steps back and think about it you know it doesn't mean they're all no I've known lots of horny girls it's not a level of horny that's I just say a level of horny I don't think I mean if you thought that's what I said you misunderstood me that's not what I said okay it's more like a, an approach, you know, a perspective that you're coming at it, you know. The the male one is more like you're trying to do it, you know. And the female one, yeah, you, know, you can step back two times, two steps back, and think about it. Doesn't mean you don't want it. You're just able to kind of think, you know. That's why we women can be smarter, you know. It is a smarter position <laughs> to be in, really. But um. So that's relevant because these people that are doing this are like young, depressed, confused, like we say, confused isn't the right word to use though, that'll just make them mad, you know, um, you know, we need to legalize prostitution because in case, in case they're going to flip out like every chick hates me and I just got to get laid and all that, you know, then the world is, is pushing them. A person like that, there's pornography around every corner to a person like that, you know? And it's like, ah, everything's pushing me, but there's nothing I can do about it, you know? One, two, three, four, five, five, five against one, one, two. And like, ah, you know? And like, so, um, and also just on any other thing you can think of, that's just like one example. Anything you could think of, if you think about it, it's a, a person that, you know, the only reason that, that, that you would express such a, a, hate, a hateful, horrible thing is to just gun down children and things like that. It must be because you don't feel like you fit in with the group and so you hate the group, right? Just to kind of try to focus all the way out and say it like real simple. So how can we help more people feel like part of the group? That's the subject of inclusion. And uh, I, I was studying to be an elementary school teacher. Inclusions is a big word in, in like how to deal with children. Yeah, yeah, probably is the word inclusion, not how do we punish them. You know, you teach a dog by rewarding it, not punishing it type thing. Um, yeah, so finding the beauty within like Eskimos. Eskimos, if you wanted to like, did you hear that, that bull crap I was playing before this? That... You know, it's like, holy, holy hell, dude. Practice some Pink Floyd before you play some Pink Floyd, you know? I mean, you know, it's like, but if I would have played that to an Eskimo, they would have loved every second of it and been so thankful for that. And then th thought it was just beautiful, you know? Uh, so would a child, you know? Like Jesus said, be like a child, you know? And it's stuff like other, and a lot of things. Like, we know these, we know this, you know? More love, more inclusion. The, per, the solution isn't to try to figure out who the bad guy is and then try to stop him. The, the question is who's lacking in love and lacking, not feeling like they're part of the group and how can we help them feel more like that? See the difference? So just think about it. That's what I think. 